Hey YouTube, we've got our log siding on the house and we've got our doors and windows on. So let's go take a look. There's a few different types of log siding that you can choose from. We ended up choosing the hand hewn uh, dovetail log siding. As you can see, it has some, you can see kind of the scallops of the axe in the side of the the siding that is actually hand hewn they do take a, an axe and they just go over the siding and and um, go over it to give the axe marks um, it does cost a little bit more but that's what we chose we thought it would give it a good look on the outside hopefully that will stand out more uh, once we put the log oil um, on the on the siding and it'll and it'll darken everything you can see it has the has uh, dovetail ends on the uh, on the siding to help that it to give it a look that it looks like a, a larger log give it that appearance but if you do pay close attention you can see that that is um, that is laminated onto the siding the actual true thickness of the siding is going to be this section right here hopefully once we get the log oil on there you won't be able to see that line as bad and it'll just darken all that end grain So here's one of the pieces of log siding. You can see that the dovetail, it just has a thicker piece on the end to wrap around the corner and to interlock the other pieces of siding. Um, they are a tongue and groove uh, siding. So they've got a groove here and a tongue on the top. And I think um, the very top of it is smooth for a chinking surface in case you want to give it the chinked log appearance which is where you fill that with that white chinking and it, and it makes those white lines in between your logs. Um, and uh, this, this portion right here, I believe it starts out about an inch and a half thick and then they hand hew that to give those ax marks and then it, it, that kind of brings it down closer to an inch thick when they're done. You can also see since we got all our windows and doors in, they got all the uh, the trim done uh, around the windows and doors. On the walkout basement and on the back uh, porch, we have these um, these are basically French doors. So you can open these up, and then if you want to make it larger, the other one can unlock and it can open up as well. So it'll help bring in big furniture in the basement. Um, or just help open in the house to the outdoors. Looking on the inside of the house, you can see that the uh, how the uh, interior is going to look. This is going to be the the dormer that's above the great room, and um, it's got a matching window below it. And then the entry door to the front. You can see that it has nice uh, trapezoid shaped windows above the front doors. Now this front door is a little bit different. Well, actually all these doors are a little bit different than I'm used to. Um, this is actually only hinged right here. So it opens up um, here on this side and then this one over here on the left is actually a fixed door. And then it has these, um, has these interesting latches that you won't be able to see. But when you pull up on the handle it, it locks the top and the bottom of the door and then once those are latched then you can turn the bolt lock and lock it but um, it will not allow you to do the bolt until you've pulled up on the handle and popped out those top and bottom latches on the door one other feature I do like about the front door, even though it's on, it's only hinged one way, so you, you can't open both doors, it does have a screen door on it. It has like a sliding screen door like you'd have. And uh, you can bring that across. 
and then you can just leave that open and uh, let a breeze in through that so i do kind of like the screen door on there that's a nice feature yeah these other windows on the front of the house i do like these i bet these things are at least five feet wide so they're pushing five six foot wide on these windows and there's one here and there's one over there which is the master bedroom and of course that's the size of the ones in the dormers the dormers are like eight foot wide dormers and then these are about like six foot wide windows that go in them makes it really nice so this is our uh, the windows here in the uh, kind of like a bay window or a little bump out where our dining room table is i think these are all two foot wide windows i think that worked out pretty good makes for some nice views on that side one thing i will point out we have had an issue here one of our foundation posts right there ended up being on top of where they dug out for our septic line you can see there's our septic line right there that's our vent and then that line was dug out here went this direction well that was all loose dirt see we wanted to get those foundations on on uh you know dirt that was undisturbed well that was disturbed dirt and that foundation actually sunk you can see we got a bunch of rain here in the last week it slowed down our construction process uh, it's been real dry all summer been real lucky and now it's rained probably at least a good three to four times over the last two weeks and this is all sunk down along with the foundation so you can see that 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 post is is um now separated that's like almost six inches that's sunk so right now we've got a jack under there keeping the porch and everything nice and level uh, there's not much I can do about that until all this settles so we're gonna have to just pretty much let this sit here with the jack under it and then probably next spring we'll let we'll let it uh, we'll probably wait until after the freeze and the thaw and everything of winter and then we'll have to pour a whole new foundation probably a lot wider footing to make sure that it doesn't sink again and then pour that up to that post or maybe pour it and then put a longer post on there but all the other porch posts are fine it's just that one that just happened to be right on top of where the septic line came out so far i'm really happy with the way the log siding has turned out um, it looks good it's really transformed the build into when you look at it now you think log cabin i mean it really turned it into a log cabin with the doors in, and the windows and the log siding it's been a total transformation over the last couple weeks so big changes really happy with the way it looks starting to fi look finished so on the next video um, they ought to get the roof finished here soon next video i'll i'll show the roof i'll try to show whole, how the whole uh, log cabin looks overall from a distance try to do some drone footage so stay tuned for the next video thanks for watching